Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a well, this was supposed to be a September favourites, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit too late for that, so let's just call it a current favourites video. Um, I'm gonna talk about makeup, fashion, hair, like entertainment bits, so I'm quite excited because it's kind of like personal this time, and I don't think I've done this video, this kind of video, ever really. So yeah, I'm excited to tell you guys what I've been loving this month. So the first category is beauty. I've been trying a few different things and one of them is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, oh, I forgot to bring the blusher but I've been really liking the blusher lately as well. So this is the Pillow Talk palette. I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I went to the launch and I was like, I don't know if the colours are going to work for me. It looks like a beautiful palette. Everything Charlotte Tilbury comes out with is beautiful. But this, I thought, might not work for my skin tone. But it really does. It honestly does. Like, the colours are not too... Like, they're pink. They're not nude, so they will show up. And the darkest colour, this one, I use it all over my eyes for, like, a really quick wash of colour. And I've been doing that a lot lately. Like, I've been going to a lot of events and meetings the past, like, two weeks. Sorry, my cat's on my lap. I'm not going to move her or anything. Um, so, yeah, I've been going to, like, meetings and things. And I want to make a bit of an effort for them. And this, I feel like I don't have to dedicate, like... 20 minutes to my eyeshadow and I can just do this really quickly all over my lids and a bit of my crease just blend it out and it looks really like good and put together so yeah I've been really enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette and I've also been really enjoying the Dolce Vita palette from Charlotte Tilbury this one I've enjoyed for a very long time I've got it on today and I also used it yesterday it was my birthday yesterday I just feel like this palette will make you look so good and glammed up with minimal effort and the reason for that is that there's only four colors in the palette which is so helpful because when you've got a palette with like 10 to 15 shades half the time I'm just thinking about what color to do next and whether it goes on you know things like that but Charlotte Tilbury is a makeup artist and she's a flipping amazing makeup artist every quad that she's come out with is meant to work together so I love taking this with me whenever I go like Cuddersfield or anywhere because I know that it's just gonna it's small but it packs a punch another favorite for my eyes has been the Urban Decay Scorch eyeliner pencil. I've been using this for a while. I don't know if I've even used this in a, in a makeup tutorial before but it's really nice because it's nice in the waterline and I usually use black when I want something in the waterline but this one's really nice for like a softer but still very glam look because it's it is um like a, a bit of a metallic finish so it's really pretty i've got it on today and it's just softer than using black in the waterline it makes you have like a sparkle in your eyes when you wear this so i really like it and another eyeliner for my waterline i've been loving is the barry m nude coal pencil this one i really like because i think the formula is great it doesn't dry my eyes out like my eyes sometimes water when I've got something in the waterline or like they feel really dry but this one's really good it doesn't make my eyes feel uncomfortable and it doesn't um, disappear <laughs> after like an hour which is really good because it is very very affordable so if you're after a nude eyeliner you really don't need to spend a lot you don't need to go to Mac or a high-end brand for a nude eyeliner this one's great and it's super cheap and the colour is really good. It's not white and it's not pink. It's just a really nice nude. And then a new favourite for my brows is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've been using this every day. I used to use the pomade and then I completely went off that. Then I started to use the brow powder, which is like completely the other end of the spectrum, like really soft. Now it's like somewhere in the middle. I like to use the Brow Wiz because it gives you a lot of control. When I first started to use this, like back like years ago, I just couldn't get the hang of it. But now, since uh, Guy Nut Dreaming Dahlia used this on my sister on her wedding day, I've just been converted and I love it and I feel like it gives you such a nice full thick brow but it still looks very natural and fluffy, so love this and I think the colour is very important. I use medium brown but um, when I use dark brown it's quite dark so if you can like try it out before. I know they've got counter in Selfridges so yeah 
love the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. And then a few favourites for my skin, uh, the Fenty Foundation and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I've mentioned this before, I love using these together. This one's quite matte and this is a liquid highlighter so it's really good for, like it changes the texture of the foundation but it also adds a luminosity because it's got a shimmer in it. I really enjoy using these together. It's been a while since I used Fenty on its own without mixing this in so love these. And then for a highlighter, I've been reaching for this quite a lot. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. I know she's got one with just one of these colours, I think it's this one. I've been loving these two colours, I wouldn't have ever thought I'd be a pink highlighter kind of person, but I am, sometimes, if I use the Pillow Talk eyeshadow on my um, lids and then pink lipstick and then I want it to all mesh together, then I use the pink highlighter. But I really like this palette because it's not a blinding highlight, I feel like it's really suitable for the daytime. I don't actually like to wear a lot of highlight during the day like when I'm going out because I just think I don't want to look um, too overdone and like scary. A lip liner I want to mention is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner and I've got this in the shade OG Lolita which is more of a mauve purpley kind of colour and then I've got Lolita 2 which is it's like a nude but a peachy brownie nude I love this colour so much they're really good lip liners they're really comfortable they're long wearing and they're just so good they're everything you'd want in a lip liner the colours are amazing as well and they're one of those twisty up high, um, lip liners so you don't have to bother with a sharpener and they're just convenient and they look good so recommend these. And next I have a beauty oil, it's a bit of a bougie favourite but i um, really been enjoying using it. So this is the Louboutin, I think it's called Lip Beauty Oil, I think. This is in the red colour, I'm not sure if they have more but this looks so nice and it really nourishes my lips so yeah I just really like it for the colour and how it makes my lips feel super soft. So yeah, also I wore it in this picture here. And then lastly, my favourite lip favourite is the Fenty Lip Gloss. I'm wearing it today, I feel like I can wear this with any look and it will look amazing. I can wear it with no makeup, I can wear it with a full face of makeup. It goes with everything and I love the colour of the gloss. Like it's got a very subtle hint of like this peachy brown. I love it just looks good on everyone as well so if you haven't tried it out you definitely should and it's so comfortable it's not sticky so try it out if you haven't. Moving on to a few hair favourites I've been loving the way Memory Mist so this I've already talked about but if you haven't seen my vlog this product is a heat protectant but it's also like a hairspray prep spray for your hair so you spray it before styling your hair you can use it before blow drying or before using a straightener or a curler and it will protect your hair from the heat but also remember the style of your hair, it will keep it put in place. I don't use a hairspray um, because this does the job perfectly fine and it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy or crunchy, it's just really good, it does the job and I love that it's a heat protectant because then I remember to use it so this is the only thing I use in my hair otherwise I wouldn't remember to use a prep. So, love this. And then a life-changing product is the, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's something like Huswan Wen Hua. And this is a hair treatment from Lush. I was introduced to this by Holly, who does my hair. I told her that I feel like my hair is quite damaged now because we used bleach. I was just a bit worried because I had really long hair but I didn't have any split ends and it didn't feel unhealthy and now that I've cut my hair I'm like why do I have split ends but then she told me about this and I used it and it really really changed my hair. My hair feels so soft and smooth. I've only used it twice but the first time I used it I was like wow. So you leave this in your hair for 20 minutes and then you just shampoo and condition as usual. It leaves your hair feeling so nourished, so smooth and healthy. I can't recommend this enough especially if you've got dry damaged hair. This will do wonders to your hair. Honestly my hair feels like brand new because of this product. And then a few skincare favourites. The first is the Daily Defence by Zelens and this is an SPF and 
I was thinking about like not including this in my favourites because I thought it's just an SPF but I thought I'd let you guys know how good it is because it doesn't cause any flashback, it doesn't change the texture of my foundation, it's just a really good base for makeup, it doesn't you know like a lot of people I, I used to get really put off by SPFs because they used to leave like a white cast even like after putting foundation on and it just like I was just like I'd rather not wear SPF than have like weird looking foundation but this one's really good it is quite pricey but you can't put a price on your skin I mean I'd rather spend in my youth and have good skin when I grow older so yeah really like this and then I've also been enjoying the Elemis superfood facial wash and this one I was trying on and off to begin with it smells so good oh, it smells like a facial like at a really nice spa um, so yeah this one is really good I use um, I use it as my last step in my cleansing routine so I, I, I cleanse three times I know I'm extra but first I use a makeup wipe then I use a oily something emollient to get rid of my waterproof mascara and then like any other makeup and then to get rid of the oiliness and the residue from that cleanser I use something like this I mean that is quite extra but it's really good it's really good for the mornings as well and I feel like it doesn't dry out my skin which is really important because I do get quite dry skin especially around this time of the year I really really recommend this one it smells amazing and I feel like it really leaves my skin feeling balanced and still nourished it doesn't strip my skin of its oils and then I like to use this at night as well sometimes I use this in the mornings as well this is the Zelens Power D treatment drops and this is basically because we don't get enough vitamin D in the UK because the only way you can get it is from the sun and we know how sunny the UK is what this does is it well this is how someone explained it to me I don't know if I'm gonna re-explain it correctly or not but this intensive not it intensifies it like it encourages and it magnifies the vitamin D that we do get from the sun so basically it's just good for your skin and I personally just like it because it makes my skin feel really good especially the morning after using it so when I use this at night and then I use this my skin feels so good it feels like a baby's bum it feels so soft so yeah I really love these but I to be honest I love any facial oils because I've got dry skin and I feel like my skin just loves it, it really soaks up the facial oil. I used to have a really good one but I've just lost it and I don't know where it is. It's probably in my cousin's house somewhere. On to some fragrance favourites. This is my favourite for... this has been my favourite for a few months now. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. I'm just gonna say MFK because I don't know how to say the name properly. I'm gonna butcher it but this is what the bottle looks like this is actually the scented body oil but the fragrance bottle looks pretty similar i smelt this oh no beauty by aisha introduced this to me um i saw a post on her instagram and she was um showing her favorite scents and this was one of them so i smelt it in selfridges and then luckily the pr people sent me some so um, i was so happy with this and I've been wearing it pretty much every day since I got it and I got it months ago so loving this it's actually in my car which is why I don't have it right now and another fragrance favorite is Min New York the whole brand is amazing but I was invited to a launch for this perfume this is the voodoo scent and this one smells like I described this on my insta stories as a rich man with style and it really just does smell like a rich man with style. Mmm, smells so good! And then what my sister described this one as, that one was voodoo, this one is plush. I love this one, I think this one's my favourite. Oh, this smells like a... This smells like an older woman, but you know those really graceful older women that just carry themselves so well and... Oh, they've got amazing hair, amazing skin, amazing makeup. My sister said this smells like a, a woman getting ready in her powder room, and it does smell like that. Longboard is also so nice. It smells like summer in California, and I've never even been to California, so. It just takes you on a journey. These, these fragrances are just, oh, 
smell them. And then a few fashion favourites. I'll show you guys some of the jewellery I've been loving. I've already mentioned these before so I'll do this really quickly but here are some earrings. I love these. They're from Maya Magal. I wore them in my um, haul video, the video before this one. Just love these earrings. They make me feel so chic and bougie and then this ear cuff is also from Maya Magal as well as this little ear cuff I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's a single stone it's just a single band as well and this one is two bands another jewellery company I've been loving is Nominal I got this Pakistan one a while back and I've worn it so much and I love that it's not like a, a flag or anything it's just the map of the country and it just makes me feel so happy because I love Pakistan, I love visiting, so it's a bit of Pakistan with me. One of my fashion favourites is loungewear. I've been loving loungewear. One of the favourites is these joggers from H&M. But I've had these since last year and they're so comfortable and I feel like they fit really good. Like they don't make me feel trampy because they just fit nicely and they're, they're not overly baggy. I used to I used to wear jogging bottoms from like the men's section so I'm really happy with these and I like that they're not too too baggy. I've got them in two colours and my sister's got them in two colours as well. And secondly my favourite robe is back. If you guys have been following me for a long time and watch my vlogs you'll know that this robe features in every single vlog. I just love it and I'm so glad it's October so I can whip it out again. It's really good quality and I've had it for I think two years almost. I got it in the sale in um, the Debenhams, I think it was the Boxing Day sale and it's still doing so well. Like the quality is really good and it's from Ted Baker in Debenhams. They had them last year as well. Oh, the colours are so good as well. My sister's got like a um, like a beigey one and I've got this like greyish purple one and another fashion favorite of mine is and other stories and it's not anything in particular it's just the whole store my coat i've been loving my coat i wore it for the first time on my birthday no the day before my birthday actually and oh, i'm so glad i can wear it now because it's getting cold and another fashion favorite has been topshop straight jeans I love straight jeans, I love the way they fit, they go with everything, they're just such a good alternative to skinny jeans. I love the wash that I've got of them. I don't know if the same wash is available now but I'll link straight jeans in the description box so you can check them out anyway. And now moving on to the last section of this video which is entertainment. I've got so many things to recommend. My first entertainment favourite is Audible and I've been using Audible for... I'd say a few weeks now and it's because I got a free trial actually. Before I forget, you can try your first audiobook for free when you sign up to Audible for 30 days. All you have to do is visit audible.com forward slash Ahmed and you'll have your first audiobook for free. Also for my lovely US followers, I know there's a few of you out there, you can also get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days um, if you text Enam Ahmed to 500 500. And I wanted to show you guys which book I've been listening to. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF. It's this one. And it's by Mark Manson. Ah, oh, this book. I could talk about this book for like half an hour. It's changed my life and I'm not just saying that. You guys have pro can probably tell I carry myself differently. I'm so much more confident. I speak so much more than I used to. It's changed my confidence. It's changed my mood. It's made me so much more comfortable with being alone. It's encouraged me to be productive and you guys can see like I'm posting on Instagram pretty much every day and I'm posting more YouTube videos, hopefully I'll keep this up. Since my sisters got married, I've been like having to keep myself busy, so Audible's really helped me with that, but also the lessons it's taught me. I find myself talking about things that are in this book without like mentioning the book in conversations so much, like even in meetings and with friends, with my mom, with my sister, with my brother-in-law, I've been talking about like things from this book subconsciously and yeah it's just encouraged me to do more and seize the day even though the book's all about like not really caring about certain things the whole message of the book is that you choose what you care about so if little things are going wrong 
that's like taking your energy that's you choosing to care about these little things that are going wrong whereas you could just accept them as like little mistakes or failures or things that are just going wrong and take it in your stride like fix the things that are going wrong and then actually put effort and care into bigger things that need your attention. I really recommend this audiobook if you haven't heard it already. Again you can try your first audiobook for free when you sign up to Audible for 30 days and the URL is www.audible.com forward slash Ahmed or you can text Enam Ahmed to 500 500. Also with Audible you have Audible Originals which are exclusive titles to Audible created by really well-known storytellers so you've got stuff to cover journalism, literature, theatre, so yeah, a lot to choose from. And I use Audible when I'm like unwinding, so when I'm taking off my makeup I like to use it because sometimes songs are a little bit too much, like I just, I need something else and I need something productive and someone like, it's just nice because it's like someone's talking to you. I know that sounds really lame but it's actually really nice and I like listening to it on the train and I also listen to it before going to bed. It's really good because it's got this sleep timer over here in the bottom corner so you can choose if you want 8 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever and it's really good because then it just stops and it's just good. I've used that function a lot. On to a Netflix favourite. I watched To All The Boys I've Loved Before and I didn't know if this would make it into my favourites but it did because it just reminds me of high school and it's just a feel good kind of movie to watch so if you haven't seen it it's pretty good you should watch it. And then another favourite is Crazy Rich Asians. I watched that in the cinema and I really enjoyed it because it was just an easy watch which I like. I don't always like thrillers and things that you have to like, you know, the movies where you have to figure things out, like, I, I don't want stress and I don't want to be emotional, I just like watching movies to unwind and just relax, so I really enjoyed Crazy Rich Asians. It was funny and it was romantic and it was, it was just a feel-good movie as well, so if you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. And then a few dramas I've been watching on YouTube. One of them is Bedardi and I really liked that. Thank you guys for recommending it to me. So a little bit about the drama, it's about a guy who gets HIV from his friend because his friend shared his razor and then he then gets married so then they both have HIV. The guy's mom does the marriage like she knows he's got a HIV but the boy doesn't know and then the girl finds out and then oh you know how it is in Pakistan with mother-in-laws oh so much happens you need to watch the drama and then another drama I've been watching I don't know if this is a favorite yet because I haven't finished it but it's called Yakin Gasafar a lot of you guys recommended it on my Instagram post where I asked you guys for recommendations for dramas I think I'm about halfway through so far it's it's good but I don't know it hasn't taught me any lessons or anything like it's just a bit it's, it's a bit of a slow drama so I'm not sure how it's gonna be from now but I, I can see where things are going, interested to see what happens. And then a few songs that I've been listening to recently. I love Cox Studio season 11, I love Roy Roy. The song set means crying, crying. My heart cries, that's what the um, song says. And in the end of the video, the singer cries. I feel so sorry for him because he always sings like really happy and upbeat songs and then this one he was crying so that was sad and I also really like Mahi Aja I love the chemistry between Momina and Asim Azhar I know they're just friends but I think they might get married I love Balgara and Malang. Balgara is such a good song because it I'm so proud of Pakistan for inc including transgenders I'm so sorry about the lying change the sun's decided to just ruin my video but yeah Bad girl is amazing. And then Birthday by Drake, because it was my birthday yesterday, I had been playing it like for ages <laughs> and um, I know I'm going to carry on playing it when I go to Italy. Guys, I'm going to Italy if you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm going in a few days. Might be in Italy when this video goes up. <clears throat> so if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. I'm going to Preano, which is near Positano. So if you have any specific, like, I know the food's good, that's why I'm going, but I want specific, like, any restaurants, any areas I should visit, leave them in the comments below, please. And another huge favourite is Hosier. 
I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. Been loving his songs. From Eden is my favourite. Work is also really good. Someone New just gives me such positive vibes. Cherry Wine is such a nice, slow, unwinding song. But yeah, I think I should wrap up the video really quickly, but I need to tell you guys a few of my YouTube favourites obviously. Um, the first is In The Fro, she inspires me so much. She's always on like 100 miles an hour. Love her, she's so inspiring and she makes me feel like I can always do more with my day, which I love. So I love watching her and I love the things she gets up to and the places she goes and I love her Instagram. And then another favourite is Sammy Maria. She did a, a favourite recently and then that inspired me to do this one. And I love her styling videos, I love her chatty videos. I've been watching her for such a a long time so it's so nice to see like where she's gotten now and how she's grown and uh, she's just such a lovely person she's just one of those that you know is just exactly the same in real life even though I've never met her but I just know she is and then I've been loving It's Judy's Life I used to watch her back when I was in like sixth form or maybe even before that before she had Juliana and now it's so nice to see the kids grown up and I know they're not that grown up but they can talk and like oh it's just I love that family it makes me so like excited to start a family of my own someday <laughs> my last favourite is Hey Claire on YouTube. Her recent vlogs from Japan are just amazing. I love the way she edits, I love the mood she creates in her videos. She's such a good storyteller and the way she just composes her videos even when they're just in her flat. She's just incredible at everything she does. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Sorry it was a bit long but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It would help me out so much and please click the bell for notifications whenever I do upload. And that's about it, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!